Good morning, guys. Um, so today is March 5th, 2015. Uh, I am one day away from surgery, just actually under 24 hours. Um, so today I just want to quickly talk to you guys about a few things. Um, a few things that I got from my recovery. It wasn't a lot of things. I don't think I'm going to really need a whole lot. But I had to pick up a few extra items I don't normally have in the house here with me. Um, I'll tell you guys what I'm going to do with my piercing here for surgery. What I'm going to do with this guy. Um, I'll talk about my mammogram that I got done on Monday along with my blood test. What I'm putting in my hospital bag for my overnight stay after my surgery. What I'm wearing to and from surgery tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to talk to you guys about a website called... Um, JustBreastImplants.com. Um, so first and foremost, I had to pick up a few extra things that I don't normally have in the house here with me. I picked up a neck pillow, which is the pillow that comes kind of like around your neck, because I'll be sitting and kind of sleeping in an upright position for probably a week and a half to two weeks after. So that way I can kind of be just I'll be a little bit more comfortable with that pillow. I bought myself a set of button-down pajamas because, as you know, after surgery, I'm not allowed to lift my hands over my head. So those button-down pajamas will be a lot more comfortable to sleep in as compared to trying to sleep in like a zip-up hoodie or anything like that. Um, let's see, I bought extra strength ibuprofen because I don't think I'll really need the strong narcotics for a really long time, for an extended amount of time. So I bought the, I bought the ibuprofen habit here with me when I'm, when I feel I'm ready to no longer use the narcotics. Um, I brought, I bought, sorry, a probiotic. I'll be on antibiotics for... Uh, start, actually starting today, I believe. This morning, I'll take it before I go to work. And having a probiotic, it will help to balance the antibiotics. So I don't get anything weird like a yeast infection or anything gross like that. Uh, so next is my piercing. As you guys can see, I do have my lip pierced. And it is metal. And so for, for surgery, you're not allowed to wear any kind of jewelry. But if I take it out, I'm really scared that it's actually going to close up. So today when I get off work, I'm actually going to go and purchase a clear retainer. So it's the same thing as a piercing, but it's clear and it's made of either acrylic or plastic. I did my call for my um, pre-registration with Rose Medical, and the nurse said that a spacer or clear retainer should be perfectly fine for my surgery. Uh, next, I went on Monday and got my blood work done at um, LabCorp. LabCorp. Uh, my doctor said I can go to LabCorp or Quest, but it was more convenient to go to LabCorp because it was actually in the building next to where I got my mammogram done. So, and um, then I got my mammogram and an ultrasound done on Monday morning. It kind of threw me off because I didn't think I really needed both, but I did get both. And in the end, that was, uh, it was like $380 for the ultrasound and mammogram combined. The blood work didn't cost anything was covered by my insurance but if it isn't covered by my insurance it'll be I'll get an invoice for like 87 ish dollars from uh, LabCorp. Um, my hospital bed I have not actually packed my hospital bed yet but I don't foresee needing a whole lot of things. I will be bringing my own body wash because I am able to shower the day after surgery so I don't want to use the hospital body wash to stuff dries my skin out really bad so I will bring at least my own body wash um, feminine hygiene things, underwear, socks, that's, oh, deodorant, and that's it. Uh, what I'm wearing to and from surgery, I am wearing a pair of yoga pants, probably both to and from surgery, with a uh, zip-up hoodie. I might bring a tank top. I'm sure I'll wear a tank top to surgery, but odds are I'm not going to be able to put it on after surgery. So I will wear a tank top too, but then I'll just wear my zip-up hoodie. Uh, for Saturday more Saturday evening for the for the drive home, and uh, JBI Just Breast Implants. It's this fantastic forum uh, for women all over the world who are interested in breast implants. But there are forums dedicated to like dental work, tummy tucks, mommy makeovers. There are random forums where you can ask randomly like weird questions, anything that you have. So I've been a member of that site for just over two years. And it's great because you can post albums of your progression. Uh, you can view other albums. Um, it's kind of like a Facebook or MySpace for boobs, like for breast implants or for plastic surgery. And it's a great place to go to ask questions, to read about different experiences, to 
make friends and just have this great community of women who have either been through what you're going through or are going to have a better understanding of what you're going through. So it's been fantastic. Um, that's actually one of the reasons why I decided to make a YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel, starting with my breast augmentation journey. Um, so that is just breastimplants.com. In order to participate, you do have to register like an email address or something like that. Um, you, I, in the two years I've been on the site, I've never received any kind of spam or like third party anything generated from just breastimplants.com. Um, so that is it for today. I am on my way to work, hence why I'm wearing this kind of plain white t-shirt. Um, I'm on my way to work, uh, and you guys will be getting an influx of videos from me in the next few days because I will post a video um, tomorrow, hopefully, probably before my surgery, of my journey to surgery. Hopefully tomorrow evening, after my surgery, after recovery, Saturday for the drive home, and my first day post-op. And then I haven't really figured out if I want to do daily vlogs as I'm healing or do weekly vlogs as I'm healing. So for sure there'll be at least one video tomorrow, Friday, one video on Saturday, and uh, let's see here, maybe a video on Sunday, and if not Sunday, it'll be either Monday or Wednesday of next week. So um, I'm out of here, I'm heading to work. Thank you guys for visiting my channel, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye guys.